a world where airplanes dominate the sky, one cadet dared to challenge them both. Actually, it was 24. Hi, I'm Cadet Caleb Sears from the Coastal Charleston, South Carolina Composite Squadron, and I want to tell you about an exciting week I had this summer learning how to fly. It was one of Civil Air Patrol's powered flight academies in Virginia. Ours is probably one of the largest academies that they have. Uh, we have 24 cadets that come every single year, and our goal here is to give them uh, 10 hours of concentrated instructions in flying an airplane. Cadets from all over the eastern U.S., including Texas and Colorado, arrived on Saturday at Fort Pickett, Virginia. And after introductions and assignments to dormitories, we started our flight lessons. The mornings started with breakfast at Ida's Kitchen, then out to the flight line to plan our day's training. Then, my teammate Brandon and I headed out to our aircraft to run through a series of checklists before our flight. This was for our safety, as well as for the proper operation of the aircraft. All right, it's required to visually check. Yep. When you did, the, when you took the pedal cover off, make sure that I, I don't remember if you looked in here and, and made sure it wasn't obstructed. I don't know. Check. That's why I left that open. Fuel. This is great. Can't wait to start flying. Clear prop! We flew almost three hours every day, mainly in the morning, practicing emergency procedures and takeoff and landings. until I had memorized all the correct procedures. If we had finished flying for the day, some of us would gather on the control tower to critique our fellow students' landing abilities. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, bounce again. Oh. Oh. Let's see if they're going to stop. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, man. Oh, God. Junk. At, uh... For me, the hardest thing about learning how to land was maintaining the correct speed. Because it was too hot to fly in the afternoon, we sat in the cool classroom learning about navigation, weather, and airport signage. We even practiced radio procedures in our dorm. Hartman Ground, Cap 3881 on Ramp Bravo with Info Charlie. Ready to taxi to run up. Cap 3881, taxi to ramp Alpha via taxiway Bravo. Recontact ground once run up complete. Taxi to ramp Alpha via Bravo. We'll contact once run up complete. Cap 3881. After much practice and studying, I was finally ready for my first solo flight. Some of my classmates were also ready. Or almost ready. Big back. Big back. And follow all the way back. Well, Are there any more uh, Toward any more the end of the week, all of the cadets who solo had the traditional cutting of the shirt tails. Yep. I got no. Where's my shirt? Who, who came up with this tradition? Yeah. <laughs> they also soaked us with buckets of water. Oh no. Bucket brigade! Go! Whoops! Oh, 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 oh,
Goosebump. Actually, that was kind of fun. Oh. He, he got out of the airplane and uh, said, you're on your own. What were you thinking? Uh, really, I was just hoping I wasn't going to die was what I was hoping. I'm sorry. I dare him. <laughs> okay. An instructor just got soaked. Yeah. So, uh, so when he got out, it was uh, kind of that moment where you're just thinking, "Wow, this is uh, all up to me." Mike, you know, whatever you get happens, it's bucket? my fault. I can't uh, blame the instructor for it. Uh, it's kind of weird, though. I can kind of hear his voice when I'm coming down on my final approach, and uh, he's just telling me back pressure. That's all I can hear. It's just back pressure. So. Uh, got it. Wait, what? It was uh, definitely pretty interesting. Like, it, it wasn't that weird because you know you know what you're doing. You uh, you just do the same exact thing. There's just no one in the seat next to you. So, it's just kind of different. It's almost better in a way because you you don't have them to the pressure to perform for them, and then um, you can just focus on your abilities and just do your best. So, what were you thinking when you came in on final for the first touchdown? Um, just. Watching the airspeed, watching my altitude, just doing everything I need to do, trying to make it a greaser. At first, it was a little, a little nerve-wracking, but when I got up there, it felt a little better, and I just relaxed and got into my groove. So. Kind of uh, automatic pilot kicked in. Yeah, just done it so many times, I was able to do it one more time. And so you came around on final, and that first thing, when you touched down, what were you thinking? Oh, yeah, okay. Just well, at first I. I was coming in a little high and a little fast, so I had to adjust to the very last minute, but just a big relief as soon as I got down. And then it was graduation day. I didn't want it to end. But like I said, it was an amazing week. Why don't you go next year? If you're a Civil Air Patrol cadet and your goal is to get your private pilot's license, then this activity is for you. Go online to this website and click on the Powered Flight Academy that's in your area of the country.